Hey guys, Brayland here, and welcome to the last Spirit Halloween 2019 sneak peek video. Or technically the last one, which was on Pennywise, was the last one. Last actual sneak peek on a sneak peek video of an animatronic that came out. This is just on the rest of the lineup that they just released. Uh, so technically it's not, but this is the last video on new 2019 Spirit Halloween animatronics. I uh, will see you in 2020 to do the sneak peeks they released then, but that's a year away, so we are just going to focus on what we have here now. It's a little late than when they usually release the rest of the lineup. It's August 7th, but um, it's August 7th, but I don't know why they are like being so slow this year, because you knew there was a week gap between like Bloodthirsty Betty and um, whatever the uh, next sneak peek was, I forgot. Um, so they were like kind of dragging their feet this year, but I think it's, I think it's okay now that we have got everything out and the flagship's open and my, my store is opening Friday, so you might see a store tour of Spirit Halloween 2019 Friday. Uh, hopefully it opens. Hopefully they don't change it. But that's not what this video is about. It's about the last of the animatronics for this year. Now, <clears throat> sorry. Now, if you know, they were leaked from a live stream of the TV screen. So I did know they were coming, but I was excited to see them come. And the first animatronic we are talking about is the Two Foot Bump and Go Mr. Toots. Uh, he's $129.99, which I think is a pretty reasonable price. And his order now expected to ship on or before August 28th, 2019. Uh, he is a clown in a car, so it's like kind of like a clown car. Um, he is super funny. I will be getting him, so you will be seeing a smoldering review on him when I get him. You will see him on this channel. Uh, he's just really cool. I like his face. I like the way he's looking up. Uh, I like his voice. Uh, here's the video. You won't hear it. Because I had that setting turned off. I really need to turn it on. But here he is. Um, he His voice is really good. Just go go to Spirit Halloween's website. I'll link them. I'll link all their pages in the description. So just go down to the description. Go to the website if you want to hear the video. Uh, but he's really cool. He's bump and go, obviously. His face I really like. I really like that he's looking upwards. I think it's a really interesting. Uh, he's really unique. I, I figured, I was like waiting for Spirit Halloween to make some sort of clown car animatronic. Like ever since five years ago, probably like at the clown train maybe I thought of a clown car. And they haven't made it until now and I really like him and his name is really clever. Like toots like a car horn. So I really like this animatronic and I will be purchasing him this year. So expect to see him on the channel this Halloween season. All right, so now I'm going to read his description. Beep, beep, chaos is coming. Ever since Mr. Toots retired from the circus, his favorite thing to do is drive his little red car. He's not very social, and he's never one to stop for pedestrians. His main goal is to cause havoc on any street he's driving on, and he'll always be successful. He doesn't stop for anyone in his path, so you better get out of the way when you catch him driving too fast. So yeah, really cool. You will be seeing it on the channel. Um, that's about it. All I have to say for the two foot bump and go Mr. Toots. Now we're going to be moving on to the next animatronic new for Spirit Halloween 2018. Alright, so now we are on the second animatronic released for the full lineup. And that is the 5.8 foot Jack Straw. Uh, he is $199.99, and he's ordered now expected to ship on or before September 11th, which I'm, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's one of the latest pre-orders. I think Pennywise is pre-ordered September 11th, too. But anyway, a lot of people like him, including me. I will be getting him this year, too. Also, I will be getting him. I'll be buying this one. Um, he has very similar... If, yeah, the same motion as Demonic Dahlia. Uh, he's in a sitting position, and then he jumps up, just like Dahlia. But I kind of like him better because he's a scarecrow. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people like him ever since, like, the flagship stores opened. 
I know that a lot of people are interested in him, so my guess is he and Wally are probably going to be back next year in stores, will be my guess. Uh, but that's just a guess. Here's the back of him, right there. And then there's an up close of the face. His face is really cool and detailed. There's him sitting down. Here's him from the side. And the other side. Here's his video real quick. So yeah, he jumps up like that, just like Demonic Dahlia, but he's, like I said, a little bit cooler. Uh, his eyes light up yellow, which is really interesting. I find that really creepy. Watch it again. Um, I like his design. I like his design because it, it looks like a scarecrow, but his face is kind of different than the other scarecrows we've gotten. Uh, it's not got stitched up mouth. Well, it does a little bit on the sides, but not, not completely stitched up like maybe Looney Straw Man. And I do like the stitch up mouth, but there are a lot of scarecrows that have stitched up mouths. And he has a straw hat and a burlap little thing around his neck, probably to cover up the mechanism around his neck. And he has a little burlap coat on. So he's really cool. I will be buying him this year. Um, let's read the description. Farmer Jack hated when people would stop foot, step foot onto his property without permission. He was always angry, yelling at everyone to stay away and running through his field just as a scarecrow to frighten them off. But as he was chasing someone away at night, a demonic figure appeared. It turned Jack into something much more sinister. He now hid in his field and crouched as he waited for an unwanted visitor. When one arrived, he popped up with horrifying screams, chilling laughter, and glowing yellow eyes. That never failed to send them running away as fast as they could. Unfortunately, some visitors just weren't fast enough, and Jack Straw sealed their fate. So if you come across this deadly scarecrow, you better be quick, or you might be yet another one of his victims. So yeah, it's a really cool animatronic. Like I said, I will be buying him. And let me know what you guys think of all these animatronics. Let me know what you guys think of Mr. Toots and Jack Straw in the comments below and the next one. Speaking of the next one, let's move on to the next one. The next animatronic is the 5.4 foot Headless Help. $229.99 and it's expected to ship on or before the 28th of August. I won't be getting this one simply because I don't like it that much. It comes with a microphone that you can talk in and make it look like it's talking, uh, which is a really cool feature. And it has a tray that you can put stuff on. It's cool. I think most Spirit Halloween's animatronics are cool. But it just doesn't really appeal that much to me. I don't like it that much. So I won't be getting this, but I know a lot of other people really do like him. Uh, he's He holds his head. It's kind of like a butler, and he holds his head, and the head talks. Here's the other side. And here's the microphone that is included that you talk into. And let's do this. So in the video, it looks like they got like a wine glass on his tray. And the head talks. And the head blinks too, which is a really interesting feature. You don't see very many animatronics that blink like that. The mouth movement is really good. Um... It's really interesting because the whole, it's supposed to be like a ghostly butler because his whole suit is like white and like got that powdery look, you know what I mean? Uh, like like it's dusty, but it's white, so it's like a ghost is my guess on what they were trying to make it look like. Um, that's all I got to say about him look and animation wise. Let's go to the description. The description said, Preston loved working as a butler. He did his job with a passion, and it really showed. One night, Preston made a mistake and mixed up Mr. Ritchie's drink order. Uh-oh. Mr. Ritchie expected Preston to be perfect, and his this mistake was unacceptable. 
He cut off Preston's head with one swing of the sword he had hanging in his living room. But to Mr. Ritchie's surprise, Preston survived the attack. Instead of falling to the ground, Preston bent over, picked up his head, and said he'd return with the correct drink. Some say he's still under Mr. Ritchie's spell, so if you ever see Preston, don't be alarmed. He's more than eager to serve you with whatever you need. Um, that's a very interesting story. Um, let me know what you guys think of the Headless Help. I said he's not that very interesting to me, but I'm interested to see what you guys think. Alright, now moving on to the next one. Now we are on to the last new animatronic for Spirit Halloween 2019. This one is online only. It's the Seven Foot Emperor of Souls. He's not officially yet on the website, but he'll be up soon. Uh, he's online only. I don't know when his pre-order date is because... It doesn't show yet, but his price is $399.99, which is kind of pricey, but I understand because it's seven foot tall. It comes with a throne. The arms of the chair light up, and his eyes light up, and his mouth moves and head turns, so I kind of understand why. Uh, here's the second picture. And the third picture. And the fourth picture of the back. So, there's a video of him, but it's on some other website. Spirit Halloween hasn't put it up yet, so I'm not going to be showing that. Um, it's supposed to represent like a king that's like a skeleton, and he's in like a skeletal type throne. And he's wearing a red robe. Uh, it's it's really cool. It seems like doesn't seem like some spirit would sell, but it's really cool. Um, here's the description. Res residing deep in the underworld, this ruler's sole purpose is to collect and torture as many souls as he can get his hands on. The Emperor of Souls regularly sends his servants to the mortal realm to bring back those that he has chosen. They are, they are stored in his castle as he sits on his throne just waiting for the next ones to arrive. Should you come in contact with this ominous ruler, it may already be too late. Take one look into his hollow eyes and your fate has already been decided. Um, I definitely will not be getting this one. Um, it's not that very interesting. The Dark Ages and King era is not very interesting to me and he's way too expensive and plus it's online only so there's going to be oversized shipping and shipping and then it's going to probably come out to like five hundred dollars but let me know what you think of this guy let me know what you think of all of them mr toots jack straw headless help emperor souls any comments below and that's going to be about it for this video I'll see you guys in the next video, which might be a tour. I don't know if they open or not, uh, but stay tuned for that. That's going to be about it. Bye, guys.